Getting a work visa for the US is tough. I won't deny that. But that's because most people opt for the H-1B route, which is typically not the best route because it involves a whole lottery process. Hello and namaste. My name is Nidhi Nagori and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to tell you a pathway that you can take if you're interested in moving to the US, especially for work reasons. Now, the good thing about this particular pathway is that it is not dependent on H-1B, which is a lottery visa. For those of you who do not know, the regular work permit in the US, which is the H-1B. I'm kind of sure you've heard the name floating around somewhere. That has a cap of 85,000 per year. 20,000 of those will go to people who've done their masters in the US and then you have 65,000 more spots. Almost all countries that you can think of have some sort of a quota. It's only Canada, UK, countries like these that do not have a work limit quota. So US also has a quota in place and it never changes that. But you have way more people applying for a work permit in the US, sometimes as close to 400,000. And that's why a lottery process was started so that people can get this work visa. Because you had way more people applying than the number of spots available, some sort of a process was anyway needed and that's how the lottery process started. But there are other visas that you can work on in the US which do not have to go through this lottery process because they do not have any cap whatsoever. There are two of such visas. There's one called L1A and the other is called J1. Now L1 is for people who are getting transferred from within organizations and J1 is for people who are moving for say a short-term project or even if it's a long-term project, you must be willing to leave the US at the end of it. It may seem like it's very complicated, but trust me, it's not. And I'm going to be introducing you to an amazing opportunity that you can apply for to work in the US, especially if you're looking for something to brighten up your resume. This opportunity will also open doors for you across the world, so you don't necessarily have to be stuck within the US. You only have one life, so why not explore more options? This opportunity is by the world's largest organization, which is the World Bank. If you're not well versed with what they do, they provide a lot of technical and financial assistance to developing countries and countries that are in need. And because of their size and their presence in the world, they have a lot of operations across the world. Most of their positions, if you start working for them, are based out of the Washington DC. Now they run a lot of internships and associate programs. If you go to their official page, you'll see a lot of programs like recruitment drive for m and fellows, East Asia and Pacific inclusive program, bank and legal internship opportunities, and many more. I highly recommend that you go to each of these opportunities and read because you never know what would apply to you. You know your situation the best, so of course, go and give yourself a thorough read of their website. I'll also be talking about three of my most favorite programs that I think you should totally be applying for and that are actually applicable to a wide variety of people. And let me start with actually my third one, which I have right now decided I'm going to make it as my first. That's because this is actually my favorite. This is a secret portal that I was able to find. It's an open portal. It's actually for anyone and everyone who wants to apply for World Bank. So what you have to do is just go upload your resume, put in your info and that's it. You've presented your profile. This exists so that you can present your profile to them. And if you're interested, you can let them know. Whether you align with any of the programs that they already have running or not, I do highly advise that you go ahead and sign up on this open portal that's existing because uh, that way you always presented your profile and they can always contact you if they have something for you in future. So just add your name, email, phone number, city, all the information that you wanna give about yourself. Make sure that you have a good resume. Please, please, please take help of templates. There are multiple templates that are available. I'm not gonna say go for the free ones because they are not good. Please go ahead and use a paid template. You can always reach out to us for resume services, but if you don't wanna spend money on that, that's fine too. Please make sure you use a good professional resume first and then go ahead and do the application. Once you do this, it takes you to the job search profile. You can also select according to location. If you don't want to be in DC, if you want to try some other place, you can do that as well. So just keep hopping around and see what is it that you like and apply for those roles. Now let's talk about my second most favorite program, which is the JPA, the Junior Professional Associate. This is a two year entry level work experience opportunity that is offered for recent graduates. It's for people who are not very ahead in their career. So if you're somebody who's just starting out, this is an excellent opportunity to apply for. Of course, it goes without saying that you'll be gaining a lot of professional experience and you will be working with senior colleagues on a lot of big projects that span the whole globe. In terms of the eligibility criteria, like I said, this is for somebody who's just starting out in their career. So you must be younger than 28. You must be fluent in English. 
you must have a bachelor's degree and if you have any other language skill that's a plus this is a highly competitive program so make sure you also submit your academic records so just so that you have a competitive edge again the application is absolutely smooth and simple you just need to apply online on the link that I will leave on the screen or in the description box or in the pinned comment. Now let's talk about my third most favorite program, which is by the IFC, International Finance Corporation. I don't think I need to say why I think this is a good program. Of course, I'm from finance and I think this is just a very perfect fit into my own interests. They provide internships to people who are studying. They also provide internships to people who've just started out in their career or if somebody has a decent amount of experience, they can apply as well. If you're a student, you should be applying for the Global Internship Program. For this, you must be somebody who's enrolled in a master's program already. You'll be hired for four weeks anywhere between May to September. You'll be working for any of the World Bank offices. It could be DC or some other part of the world. Of course, in any program that you get selected for, you'll be getting a good stipend, a healthy stipend, and all your costs, including medical, insurance, travel, everything will be covered. Now let's talk about the second program that is being offered by IFC for non-students. This is the Young Professionals Program. So if you're somebody who's graduated recently, this is what you need to apply for. This is a two-year leadership program that could eventually culminate into a five-year contract of working with the World Bank. Anybody who's selected for the Young Professionals program is groomed extensively in DC and works across the globe. So you learn a lot about leadership, development, organizational skills, all of that, along with working with a cool set of people every single day. I'm sure you're wondering what's the money involved? Well, the Youth Professional program offers a very competitive package. Like I said, it involves working all across the globe. This will almost be like a consulting role, so it is definitely very well paying. You'll also get benefits like health, life insurance, pension, travel, all of that covered. The application for this is not currently open. It typically opens between mid-June and mid-July. So if you're interested, just put a reminder on your calendar just so that it pops up when the applications are actually open. At this point, if you're feeling dejected because you don't fit into any of the criteria that we spoke about, then don't worry. Remember the open portal, it is still open. You can still go and apply into that. So maybe consider that. And by applying for World Bank, your dream of working in the US can finally come true. On that note, this video has come to an end. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you will consider to work with this amazing organization and I hope you will look through their job portal to see if there is any particular vacancy that you like. Just so that you know, World Bank is very okay to hire foreigners because they have vacancies, operations, everything all over the world. They are literally spanned all across the globe and that's why they are more than willing to hire people from all over the world because they want to have the best insight, the most diverse set of insight from the best minds in the world. So don't get worried or hung up on whether you'll get a visa sponsorship or not, because if World Bank is good with you, if they're wanting to hire you, then you will definitely get a sponsorship. So I'm leaving you with tons of good wishes. Obviously, if you need any help from us, if you want us to apply jobs for you, please make sure you check the link in the description box or in the pinned comment. We have an end-to-end -end service where we can do the job applications for you. The first call is free. So make sure you access it right now. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, you take care of yourself. Stay safe. Namaste.